Hello and welcome back to the Helmet Head YouTube channel. Now inside this box is the latest from Spiddle and that is their Navicam CL873 Smart System. And it is packed with an incredible amount of features, including tire pressure monitors, not just that, dash cam, front and rear 1080p, and even better, a really handy remote that means if you're wearing your thick winter gloves, you can still easily operate the system no matter what the weather conditions. But it's waterproof, it's got a massive 6.3 inch screen, and so much more. But let's put it through the 11 out of 10 test. Let's unbox it, let's install it, and let's give it that real well test. Let's see how great this smart screen is. Cue the intro. Let's start with the grey unboxing. On opening up the box, the first thing you'll see is this user manual installation guide that is well detailed with easy step-by-step -step instructions. Next, you'll find your CL873 smart screen. This feels really rugged and well made in the hand. It's got a waterproof rating of IP65 and it's got a 6.25 inch touchscreen. With an impressive 1280 by 480p resolution, giving you that crystal clear quality. It comes with all of the tools needed for fitting, including two types of bolts, one for permanent fitting and one for easy removal. The power cable comes with spades pre-installed and a long length of cable to fit any motorcycle. The handlebar mount is made from high quality metal, giving that real rugged and strong feel. The wired remote has two nice big buttons, meaning that it should be nice and easy to press even with thick winter gloves on. And it comes with full fitting kit. The dash cams feel really good high quality they have 180p resolution and can film at a 140 degree angle and your smart screen already comes with a 64 gigabyte SD card so you're ready to go all fittings again come with the camera so you can easily mount them with these 3m sticky pads the tire monitoring system consists of two dust caps two safety nuts and an installation tool that means that they're going to be extremely hard to steal and you even get two extra batteries. Not just that, you get this lovely little case to keep all of your bits and bobs in. And that's everything you'll find inside the box. So now it's time to move on to installation. First thing you need to do is remove any plastics and your seat to get access to your battery. Now take your handlebar mount, remove the two screws and simply fit it in the location you wish on your handlebars. Then all you have to do is tighten both screws for it to be nice and secure and in place. If you loosen the bolt in the extension arm, this will make it easier for fitting the screen. Take your CL873 screen and decide which bolts you want to use. Then all you need to do is line it up with the holes on the back of the mount and insert the bolts, tighten them and it will be secure and in place. Now pivot the mount to get the ideal location and then just tighten the bolt and it will be locked into place. Feed your wires down with the rest of the loom between your forks. Next take your remote, simply peel back the 3M sticky pad and stick it onto the base plate. This slides in between your grips and your main control unit. Once it's in place, it'll be nice and firm. Next, take your L-shaped bracket and simply pop it in to the top of the mount and tighten with the nut and bolt provided. This can be angled to give you that perfect position just above your normal controls. Take your remote and then match the holes underneath and with the two screws, simply tighten and it will be in place and again, nice and secure. Feed your wires back through in the same place that you ran your other cables and then all we have to do is plug it into the connector all of them are clearly labeled and they're thumb screws so just tighten them and they'll be locked into place your wiring loom has three wires red is for positive black is for negative and yellow is for your ignition feed with these connected run the cables the length of your bike and plug it into the marked connector next take your rear dash cam take your time to figure out where you'd like to locate the dash cam to get that perfect position once you've done that take your 3m sticky pad remove the protective layer and stick it onto the bottom of the mount of the camera then remove the other protective cover off of the 3m mount and simply push it into place with that nice and secure just plug in your extension cable and run it the length of your bike and plug it into the clearly marked rear camera connector 
All you need to do is repeat this process for the front, finding the correct location, putting on the 3M pad and connecting it to the correct connector and that is your dash cams installed. Next, fire up your bike and remove the protective layer on your smart screen. Your CL873 will fire into life. Take your front dust cap, go to tyre settings, select front tyre and bond. Now just simply screw it on to your front tyre and repeat the same process to install the rear. Please note that the tyre pressures won't come up straight away you'll have to start riding down the road and it will pick up the tire pressures and give you a clear reading go back to your smart screen and select camera settings this is a great time to adjust the cameras they simply undo the one bolt twist round to get the right angle and tighten reinstall all your plastics and your C and now it's time to set up your CarPlay app this could not be easier. Go into settings, select CarPlay. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find your device. Simply tap on that and accept all notifications. And within a couple of seconds, your phone will be paired to your smart screen. And that is installation now complete. So let's move on to the real well test. Okay, so let's start the real well test by simply firing up the bike and seeing how quick this smart screen pops into life. So that's the bike fired up and what should happen is the main screen should pop up and once the main screen pops up shortly afterwards it will automatically pair to my phone and open Apple CarPlay. Well there we go, Spiddle is straight on the screen so we're already on the warm up mode into the main screen. How quick was that? Straight away you can see your battery voltage on the top right that's really nice to see. It's loading up the TF card inside it and there we go straight into Apple CarPlay. That means every single time now I fire up the bike, it'll automatically connect to my phone. No messing around, no trying to connect it. Automatically done. Perfect. Right, let's start by popping back to the main screen itself. So let's look at the main screen. And the first thing you want to do is check out your settings just here. Now going into your settings, of course, you can change your brightness. I've got it 100%. You can put it on auto mode. That means that it will sense if it's getting darker and it will reduce the lightness of the screen. So when you run at night, you're not going to get glared in the face. So then moving on to cameras one of the things you can do is change your resolution from 1080p down to 720p i like it on the maximum 1080p to get the best picture quality possible you can format your sd cards you can change your imaging so it switches it around if you want front and rear etc etc and you can play around with things like your microphone going into systems you can change your languages to any language that you so wish update your time and date and of course you can format your sd card plus you can also do a complete factory reset in case you make any mistakes while you're setting up but most of all you can check your frame wire here to make sure it's up to date and of course you can update it online now back on the main screen itself you've got your tire pressure and when you first start your bike up it can take a little bit of time for them to connect so currently the rear one has connected and it says i've got 30.4 psi that's around about right 30 to 34 psi so i'll top that up when i get a chance as well and as we get going the front wheel connect and i'll be able to check that the one really good thing about these is that they will set a low pressure alarm so if it's under a certain pressure it will let you know so if you're riding you've got a slow puncher it'll pop up on the screen and warn you that's just absolutely fantastic so you've also got a load of quick keys on the left just here obviously home is to go back to this main page then the picture of the sun is to do with the brightness of the screen and then you've got your bluetooth connectivity so what this is for if you've got comms like i've got on the side of my helmet here so i listen to all of my music my turn by turn instructions my navigation and so so on via this I can connect that to the actual device itself so all of the music everything you're going to hear is going to stream through this so this is connected to your phone then that is connected to your comms or you can run it both to your phone but be aware you need to press play and pause every time you set off if you do not connect it directly to it so you still get all the voice information the other side of it of course is yes it does work still for voice prompts to your comms unit how they normally would and plus you can access things like Siri etc now moving on to your cameras the last option on the bottom left for your quick keys and this brings up your cameras what means you can see exactly what you're filming that comes in really handy when you want to capture something or make sure that your lenses and things aren't dirty but as you can see I straighter than the cameras up at home so they're perfectly straight but just in case they get knots or something happens you can check them as well and of course in there you can go to all the things like what you've been recording you can take a picture it is all there at the touch of your fingertips but let's move on 
to the party trick and of course that's the carplay system and it's got look all of these apps and like i said it'll instantly connect your phone every time you fire up your bike and go into this menu now from here you've got access to all of your favorite apps anything that is compatible with carplay will appear on here and we'll start with music so if you've downloaded music directly onto your phone you can tap on the music tab and it will come up with all the music that you've got downloaded but not just that because it's carplay you've got access to things like amazon music also Spotify so you've got all your favorite playlists on there like I've got just here but let's listen to a tune now of course this connects straight to your comm system so the speakers in here are going to blare out that awesome music but it's all by the touch of your fingertips so let's select one of my favorite tracks and have a listen so with my favorite track selected I can just press play and it's playing in my ears how cool is that and this is on a nice big screen so there's no messing around trying to find it and go through this it's just all there on this beautiful beautiful screen now if i want to skip forward touch of a button works perfectly well and it even works really well obviously with gloves on so you can just pull over change your tracks not an issue look straight into the next one and boom we are there back on to the original track super super easy like i said you've got access to all of your favorite apps but let's move on let's move on now to navigation and just like all your music apps all your favorite navigation apps are there as well that means for instance you've got apple maps you've got Waze, and Waze is really good because people report things like potholes or police or an accident and it'll appear on there and you can dismiss it if it's not there so the next person doesn't have to slow down it's brilliant but of course my favorite is google maps and i'm traveling the world using google maps and it just it just works fantastically so let's navigate to a nearby town so let's go for a town called market harbour and let's see how great this screen is as we go down the road so there we go market harbour typed in start route and bump look at that let's give it a go and straight away you can see how nice and bright this screen is and i've got to say it really suits my triumph scrambler now this screen is fantastic to give you that real further view and have it nice and big but there is one that i prefer a little bit more with my gloves on i can just touch the screen and i do it twice on the bottom left and it will come up with this one here now this one here is by far my favorite because what you've got is you've got the map on the left and then on the top right you've got your next set of instructions in regards to which turn that you're going to take so i know i'm going to be going right on the roundabout in 0.7 of a mile and then at the bottom right i've got my music what means that i can skip between my tracks really easy so what's really great is i've got a visual prompt of what's happening and because of course i'm getting all of the information in my ears when we're coming up to a turn the music dips down and it will say you're, t you're taking your third exit on the roundabout in 0.5 of a mile it's just really handy it means i'm not going to easily get lost like i did if i was just trying to listen to it or just visually see it i've got the best of both worlds now one of the things i like to do on my commute to work is listen to my favorite podcast and again here on this smart screen you've got access to all of your apple podcasts simply on the podcast app so i tap on the screen and then from there i can decide which one i want to listen to as i'm riding along and you've got access to all of your favorites then they're there so i can select this and then if i'm still navigating i can simply go back to my maps and there we go we've got a map back on the screen so now I get to chill out listening to that and I love doing that on my commute is one of the things that I really really enjoy doing it just helps with that boring time doesn't it that same routine over and over again so literally now I've got my favorite podcast playing and what I also like about it is, is it pauses it when I get my next set of instructions so it doesn't dole it down like it does when you're listening to music it pauses it so you don't miss a second of your favorite podcast almost like the helmet head 11 out of 10 podcast definitely one to check out but one of the things that I really like to do on a long run when I'm going on an adventure and I'm hacking down loads of miles down the motorway I like to listen to my favorite audiobook and again they're all here if you download it on your phone you click on audiobooks and you're straight in and then for me I use Amazon audible so I can click on audible and bump all my favorite ones up so I can listen to the long way round or I can listen to Harry Potter if I decide just something to listen to while I'm munching down those miles it's all there now let's look at the dash cams because you've got this front and rear 1080p dash cam 
and I can check on the screen like now that I'm capturing the perfect shot so if something happened and I'm going have I got it I can go on here and I can go and I can look back but the thing of it is you've got these dash cams filming the entire time that means if anything happens to you at all in any way you've caught it on camera that's going to come in vital for that insurance claim because you know what's going to happen someone's going to come up and they're going to rear end the back of your bike and they're going to claim you did something and it's going to go to court and it's going to go on and then there's a chance that you could lose well not anymore because you've caught it on camera you can prove what they've done is wrong and you're in the right that keep that sort of gives you that real piece of mind but let's check out the exact footage that you're going to get from these dash cameras so ladies and gentlemen check out this Another really cool feature that I love about CarPlay is that I can send messages without having to get my phone out, fiddle around, mess around. Literally, via voice, I can send a message. So if I'm running late home from work, I can quickly send a message to my wife just to let her know. So for example, on this screen here, you've got Messenger and of course you've got WhatsApp. So if I want to send her a WhatsApp message, all I have to do is select WhatsApp and then I can talk via the comms to the unit and send the message. Check this out. New message, Abby. I'm just out testing a product. I'll be home soon. Love you. Bye. Send. How awesome is that? It just saves so much time and hassle having to dig down in your pockets and do your jacket and mess around just at the touch of a button. Then likewise, if you need to make a call, you can still use everything to do with your normal comms. But again, you've got this big open screen. So say you receive a call that you don't really want to get because it's your day off and you're out riding and work's ringing or you get an 0800 number, you know the sales calls. You can see it pop up on the screen and ignore it. But to make a call on here is so easy. You simply go in to your normal phone book and all you need to do is need to select the person you want to call. It'll come up on the screen and you have to chat to them just here. How great is that? I better chat to my mum now, I'm just ringing her. Then, last but not least, you've got this awesome remote just here. Because if you've got big thick winter gloves on or it's chucking it down with rain, you just want to have a quick glance to check out the different things on the unit, you can with this A and B button. So A is take a photo. So if you press A and say something happens in front of you, you think, I just want to grab a quick picture of that, just touch A and you're going to capture it. And then it's going to be saved in your photos on your SD card. But B will take you through your menu. So this here is giving us our rear camera that means as soon as you hit B say you're just backing up into a space and you just want to make sure without having to look back with your helmet on you can easily do that now super great because I've got one of those slanted drives what means I like to back on perfect for that and as you press B again it will take you through to your main screen so we can now check out our tyre pressures again so now I've got 29 on the front and 31.9 on the back the back's fine the front could do a little top up so now I know now we're going along you see it reads them what means we've got all this information at the touch of our fingertips and then B takes us back to CarPlay what an awesome system what a game changer for making life easy and upgrading any motorcycle is impressive. I'm sure you'll agree with me, the latest from Spiddle, this Navicam CL873 system is just next level. All of those unbelievable features in this tiny package and you can upgrade literally any motorcycle with it. So if you're interested in picking yours up today, 
All the link, all the information that you need is down in the description, including the latest discount code. So pop down and grab yours today. You're gonna to be super, super impressed. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you've got a friend that's just in need of an upgrade like this on their bike, share this video with them so they can see this system and all its goodness for themselves. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss the latest in the motorcycle tech space because it's all coming on this channel. And I'll see you in the next Helmet Head adventure. Take care, ride safe, and bye-bye for now. <laughs>